Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, find the relative permeability of the ferromagnetic material whose magnetization curve is shown in the figure. At uh, And he here we have four conditions. We are going to calculate the relative permeability at these four situations. Okay. First we have H values given that is 50 ampere per turns per meter. Actually 50 ampere times turns per meter. Now let's look at this curve. At 50 ampere times turns per meter we have flux density that is 0 0.25. Okay. So when the magneti mag magnetizing intensity is 50 this uh, flux density is 0 0.25. Let's note that one down for a part. H is equal to 50 A times turns per meter. And at that time we have flux density B that is 0 0.25 Tesla. So we can calculate mu that is equivalent to B over H that is 0 0.25 Tesla over 50 ampere turns per meter and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.0050 Henry's per meter. Now here the question is relative permeability. So to find the relative permeability, relative permeability is given as mu r that is equal to mu over mu naught. Mu naught is a constant value and mu is what we found out that is 0 0.0050 hence trees per meter divided by mu naught that is 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 henries per meter and that gives us 3980. Okay now this is part A. Now let's look at the part B. 100 ampere turn, amperes turns per meter. When the magnetizing intensity is 100, what's the value we have? That is 0 0.727. Okay, B part. H is 100 ampere turns per meter. <coughs> turns per meter and then flux density is 0 0.727 so first we have to calculate mu mu is b over h b is 0 0.727 we can just approximate as 0 0.7 let's put 0 0.727 Tesla over hundred over hundred hundred ampere turns per meter and that gives us zero point zero zero seven two seven Henry's per meter. Now here our purpose is to find out mu r. Let's go ahead and calculate the mu r. Mu r is equal to mu over mu naught. Mu is 0 0.00727 Henry's per meter divided by mu naught that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry's per meter and that gives us 2200 actually not 2000 this is uh, 5730 and that's the answer for the second one. And um, that is mu r. Mu r has no unit. Okay. This is second. This one is for the first one. Now let's look at the C part. When h is 500, h is 500 right here. At h is 500, we have b that is 1.40. Okay. Let's write this one. H is 500 ampere times turns per meter. 
incidence per meter and at the time flux density B is equal to 1.40 Tesla so mu is equal to B over H B is 1.4 Tesla 40 Tesla and H is 50 ampere turns per meter actually 500 500 ampere turns per meter 500 right here and if you calculate this one you're gonna get 0 0.0028 Henry's per meter divided by actually this one this is the value now the next thing is our purpose is to find out the mu r that's the relative permeability relative permeability that is mu r mu r is equal to mu over mu naught mu is 0 0.0028 divided by mu naught that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and both of them are henry's per meter henry's per meter and that gives us 2230 okay now that's our answer for c part now let's look at the d part d part we have 1000 ampere turns per meter 1000 at 1000 <coughs> flux density b is uh, at 1000 flux density b is 1.51 tesla so h is equal to 1000 ampere turns per meter and b is equal to 1.51 tesla so mu is equal to b over h and uh, 1.51 tesla divided by 1000 ampere turns per meter that's equal to 0 0.00151 henry's per meter therefore mu r gives us mu over mu naught that is 0 0.00151 henry's per meter divided by 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 henry's per meter and that's equal to 1200 okay 1200 and that's the final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electromechanical system there are a bunch of videos in my play playlist i hope you guys watched that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time